Hello, world changers. Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math Freebie of the Week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we practice a specific question type. These videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need more practice with your math skills, I will point you in the right direction for tons of videos at the end of this video today. So our question type to focus on this week is drum roll. Editing task. I love these. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. They're graders. I've got your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. And then when you're ready to check your work, Press play, come on back, and let's do this thing. Welcome back third grade. Let's see how you did. All right, so this problem says that Siobhan goes to the library at the time shown. At what time does Siobhan go to the library? All right, let's go ahead and take a look. So we've got a clock here and I'm gonna go ahead and try to see what time it is here. So I'm looking at my minute hand, it's right there. The minute hand is the long hand and it's between the 10 and the 11, but it's not between 10 minutes and 11 minutes. Actually to determine the minutes, we have to count the little ticks that are around the clock. So if I start at the 12 and I count by fives, I get five, 10, count with me, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, let me stop right there because I'm at 50 and I'm gonna count by ones now. So 50, 51, 52, 53. So we have 53 minutes on our clock and the minute hand is actually over here. So I would drop down and put the 53, select the 53. So if this were a computer-based test, you would click on that drop down menu and select the answer that you want, which in this case, it's 53. Now it's time for the minute hand. Nope, let me try that again. Now it's time for our hour hand. So this is the hour hand. It is the shorter hand and we can see it's pointed between the 11. Let me get rid of some of that just so I can focus in and show you, but it's between the 11 and the 12 and these are between two hours. This means that it's not quite 12 o'clock yet. It's almost 12 o'clock because when this minute hand continues to go this way, there's only a little bit of time left before the next hour. But this is the hour of 11. It's not quite 12, it is 11. So again, click my drop down menu and I'm going to select 11 right there. Or I would click on it on my computer based test. That's how you do this one. Go ahead and pause the video to jot down any notes that you need to make. And when you're ready to continue, Press play. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video, okay? Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you wanna get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you've got to make time for intentional practice. And you've gotta make sure that you are giving your very best effort. I believe in you, and I will see you next time, world changers.